Now let's talk about some Wing Commander games. Wing Commander and uh, Wing Commander Privateer. Privateer I've been looking forward to playing for a while. I just wasn't sure if I would really be able to because it's a PC and I'm a console gamer. So I'll start with Wing Commander. I remember, I think one of my brother's friends, uh, when I was a kid, whenever he would come over, this was one of the this was one of the many games he would often bring over with him. And at the time, I was used to playing games, you know, like Star Fox, that were kind of, you know, spaceship sims. Um, this game was obviously a lot different. It was, uh, there was more of an open world feel to it at the time. You could actually fly around in outer space. You could have, obviously, uh, space, com uh, space combat. But it also brought in the idea of being able to communicate with your other teammates and being able to uh, communicate with your flagship uh, and give out orders. I don't know if you could customize your ship, though, because I was never able to get that far because, uh, well, the current console I own to be able to play a lot of my old Super Nintendo and Nintendo even Sega games, I bought... Uh, a three-in-one system. It's called the FC3+. Plus. It plays Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and Sega Genesis games all in one console. And the controller is made to be able to play with all three of those. And and I apologize that you can't fully see the controller because I'm too lazy to unplug it. The controller basically looks like this. And it has the, uh, the six different buttons. And they're all labeled, so they should all work in the way that they're labeled. And luckily, I kind of understand that now because I didn't originally. So, but it can make it a little complicated when you're when you don't bother to look up what controls do what. But then I remembered, we have the internet. You can look up what controls do for said game. Like, oh, I'm retarded. Anyway, um, but yeah, um, I think the only. Uh, I suppose, slightly negative thing I will say, you know, and obviously this was uh, pretty basic for all common shooters, uh, for, 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 all, for a lot of fight sims back then, was that uh, you couldn't uh, lock on to your enemies and, and such. Uh, you yeah, know, and so that could make spice, uh, the spice, that could make uh, space combat a little bit difficult. And I was never able to get that far in this game, sadly. Um, uh, I would still love to play more of it. So, But Wing Commander Privateer. Again, playing on the PC. Uh, and PC controls become very overly complicated. Uh, you know, because you have a button that does... Well, you have several buttons that do many different things many of which you don't know what they do. Some some buttons you have a pretty heavy use for, others you don't. And the controls can be pretty simple enough. Uh, you know, move up and down, left and right, down, and accelerate, decelerate, lasers, missiles, communication. Some of that can be pretty easy to figure out, uh, particularly if you bother to hop online and see what controls do what. And... And I suppose, obviously, a problem with a lot of those games like that is that uh, there's no hand-holding. Now, obviously, it does help that when you first buy the game that, uh, you know, you have a, you know, you have your helpful booklet there in order to tell you, you know, what does what, uh, how do you do certain things, how do you accomplish certain things, and how to avoid dangers and blah, 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 blah. But when you don't know what you're doing, and you've basically bought a game online that, you know, doesn't come with instructions, doesn't come with a box, or anything like that. But frankly, I am at least happy I was able to play Privateer, in that I was just able to download it off of GOG.com, and they make games like that that are compatible to be able to play with today's current PCs or laptops. And the Space Combat... Uh, it's pretty fun um, if you know what you're doing. Um, it's really not that hard to figure out. Uh, the, uh, the controls are simple enough. Uh, the up and down 
keys on your keyboard will make you go up and down the space bar will fire your lasers um, and you're able to customize your controls but it won't actually let you go in and say like what key you want to do what so but nothing against that but overall I would love and you know this is another thing that's never gonna happen particularly with the fact that I believe Origin today is still owned by EA. So you know it's never going to happen. Where, and this would be such a brilliant move, too, if they would do it right, that is. Seeing as how it was EA that drove Origin into the ground and basically ruined them as a company. If they took their old classic games, like Privateer, or even the original Wing Commander games, and brought them back, heavily up res the graphics, uh, maybe customize the controls, make them a little bit tighter, uh, change some certain things, still keep the games uh, um, open world and open ended, where you can do just about whatever you want, play however you want, and choose to play the game however you want, and then re-release them for multiple consoles, PC and uh, Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, you know they would make a shitload of money if they did that. It would be a brilliant move. But they won't do it. You know they won't. Either that or maybe they just think, like, well, I don't really think there's really any money for that. You know, retro gaming is definitely making a big comeback. It is. Particularly if it's done right. You know, if it's done with love and it's, you know, and if the game is at least good and fun and playable, you know, then then it's a very smart move. Why EA doesn't do this with a lot of the games that they own, I don't know. I don't know. But then again, I don't really know anything about about trying to run a business or trying to sell games. I'm just a guy on the internet.